Hello everyone, today is 21st of October 2015 and here uh, in front of me is an article made by Scott Onst Scott Onstad, researcher of our reality as I would say, okay here we have article call, called uh, learning from CERN uh, uh, or in my original re language I would say CERN CERN, okay, CERN learning from uh, CERN, okay, here we have article uh, and I will uh, uh, tr uh, continue with reading the article CERN's Large Hadron Collider is the largest, most complex and most expensive machine ever built on this planet. Over 10,000 scientists and ingen engineers, engineers, engineers uh, from over 100 con uh, countries collaborated on its design and construction. The pur purpose of the machine is essentially to study the interrelation between the physics of the very small uh, quantum mechanics and the physics of gravitation, general relativity. The LJLHC consists of two rings, one large and one small. The smaller ring is called the super proton synchrotron, which is used as the final injector of high intensity proton beams just prior to particle collision. Here is how the uh, LHC looks along of the border of France and Swi Swi Switzerland near Gene Geneva, Geneva. Okay, here is the map. So CERN is located on, on France and Switzerland territory. Both are good, economically good countries, okay, I just say. Uh, Goro Adachi discovered in 2008 that the ring size correlates with the sizes of Earth and Moon. My Earth Moon diagram below shows these bodies in their uh, correct proportions. I drew, in t uh, I drew two intersecting uh, lines through the center of Moon for reasons that will soon become clear. Uh, uh, okay, so we have here the correlation between the sizes of Earth and Moon and the CERN. Ring sizes, okay, correlate with the sizes of Earth and, and Moon. Okay, so we have uh, the connection uh, here. We have interesting relation here. Okay, this is the image. Okay, so we, we see the, the Earth, the size of the Earth, and we see here the Moon. Okay, so Moon is 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 uh, have have very small uh, size uh, di diameter compared to to earth okay inspired by inspired by the many fascinating correlations goro adachi just blog about the ljc i drew the following map of our inner solar system and here is that map uh, in the center is Sun, uh, first circle is um, uh, Mercury's orbit, then it's Venus's orbit, then it's Earth's orbit and next uh, circle, is, uh, circle is perihelion and later is the last circle is, is Mars orbit. Okay. Uh, note planets have elliptical orbits. The Sun is not located at the center of all the eclipses but in one of uh, two 
fosse focal more fosse of each ellipse this, this makes the top view rather complex and particular Adachi kindly sent me data from Starry Night Pro which I verified by drawing each elliptical orbit in AutoCAD I had to locate each orbit's focus at the center of the sun and uh, orient each orbit's perihelion I rotated the entire solar system so that Earth's perihelion, the point in the orbit cl uh, closest to the sun was at the bottom or 6 six o'clock position then I took the line work from the Earth Moon di diagram uh, shown above, colored it red, and placed the point of tangency of the two circles on the Earth's perihelion. I scaled the red diagram to fit Venus's orbit. Uh, Adachi noticed that the intersection point of the crossing lines representing the center of the Moon and the earth moon diagram uh, appears to be on venus's orbit that is <laughs> this is the picture that uh, scott uh, talked about so you see how this red line represents the Earth on previous image, and this red line here represents smaller smaller circle, represents the Moon. Uh, you see how it seems that uh, uh, Sun is the center of the Earth. Interesting, in, uh, interesting relation. Next, I copied the Earth Moon diagram again and this time colored it yellow. I placed the bottom of the, er of the Earth Moon diagram on the 6 o'clock position and scaled it. it. Scaled it down to Venus's orbit. I noticed uh, that the top of the smaller yellow moon circle appears to be tangent to Mercury's orbit. Okay, so you see that uh, the smaller yellow moon circle here appears to be tangent to Mercury's orbit. Okay, okay, so you see that when we, when Scott put this yellow circle on Venus's orbit, okay, the moon uh, uh, diameter, diameter of moon, uh, touches here the Mercury's orbit, okay. Once more I copied the Earth moon, moon, moon diagram and this time colored it green. It didn't work in the 6 o'clock position so I, ro so I rotated the diagram uh, 180 degrees to the 12 o'clock position. I placed the top of the diagram on Mars orbit and scaled it to fit the orbit of the red planet. The center of the moon circle is on Earth's orbit. And that is discovered this happens precisely at Mars perihelion. Okay. So, okay, so you see the big circle here is Mars orbit and the smaller green circle is moons is, is, is actually the moon is actually the moon and <coughs> center of the moon is, is, is uh, touching the line of Earth's orbit okay here you see that, that the center of the moon is touching the uh, uh, Earth's uh, line of Earth's orbit okay so we see that uh, Mars have a co s uh, connection. Uh, Mars orbit ha can can give us some interesting uh, connection with the Earth's uh, Earth's orbit. And previously we saw how Venus's orbit can can connect uh, can, can can make interesting connection. Here on uh, on Venus's orbit. 
we had the moon moon here uh, touched the mercury's orbit okay and with the mars we have uh, the connection how mars is connecting the actually connecting the earth's orbit so we have connection uh, venus and mercury and mars and earth okay uh, that is that is here uh, the point the three correlations in red yellow and green R read like a cosmic blu blu blueprint i conclude that the earth and moon's proportions strongly correlate with the orbits of our neighbor neighboring planets implying masterful design the earth moon proportion is very interesting in itself it is a mystery i have written about before in this blog and in and in quantification book here is an image showing additional correlation correlations okay this image uh, is 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 complex it is about the number uh, 273 okay i will maybe <laughs> talk about uh, that image in detail now uh, now i will continue with the article yes i forgot to mention here that uh, earth is also connected to venus so we have connection mars earth connected we have a venus mercury connection and uh, we, we have earth and venus connection uh, using using this diagram of, of orbits okay 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 i continue with the article uh, where the builders of cern uh, members of a vast international conspiracy to encode the proportions of earth and moon into their instrument how did they keep that a secret why would they do such an unlikely thing encoding such macrocosmic harmony would be especially improbable for those who study the smallest microcosmos did the aliens build the moon so that uh, it would it would fit into the cosmic harmony if so they must also have placed mercury venus and mars just as they are to create these har har harmonious correlations okay and here i i can say that uh, uh, we see here the harmonious correlations but uh, it they are there if 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 the astronomy is correct okay and if the earth is not a uh, concave in shape okay so for now we uh, we we cannot accept the these har harmonic uh, discoveries because uh, we do not know if earth is concave concave okay we must uh, prove that earth is not concave and we 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 need to do a good we we need to get a good evidence okay and then we can we can continue to c uh, to claim that this this uh, this data about the uh, harmonious correlations is correct okay but for now for now for for october 2015 we do not know if the earth is actually concave or it is uh, a convex ball okay now i will continue with the article how far must the conspiracy go before you start to question your 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 belief in conspiracy why personify actors why, why personify actors where none might exist let us now consider another possibility exemplified exemplified in the mound building uh, termit ends okay now uh, scott will speak about the termit ends here he he asks some questions about the interesting uh, uh, relations i just talk about in in last uh, 14 minutes he of course is uh, have i uh, have a lot of questions about that i also have a questions about that and uh, it is really interesting why the uh, why we see that that cosmic harmony harmony here okay uh, and and in, in 
the pictures of, of diagram uh, proportions and relations why we see the, the the strange strange and simply simply elegant and beautiful harmony that is the that is the good question okay now i will continue with the uh, with this article and i will not not uh, try to answer answer those those questions and i will not speak about uh, this this picture here uh, made by scott i will speak about that uh, maybe in a another video okay here you see the interesting house i i would say made by termit ants their home is is complex these ants construct vast complexes that are sometimes constructed over millennia they intentionally uh, seed grow and harvest fungus inside and employ uh, complex air conditioning systems that keep the internal temperature constant build residences nurseries manage and transport water within the structure build struct stru structural reinforcements conduct building maintenance and repair widely tunnel into the surrounding ecosystem uh, affecting its fertility, fertility fertility in positive ways and are constructed with a great degree of awareness and speci specializa speciali specialization all of this uh, implies intelligence far exceeding any individual individual uh, and, and individual and brain okay so the termitans are obviously a good example how they have uh, I would uh, I would say uh, uh, some type of group intelligence maybe they have uh, uh, some type of uh, uh, group intelligence because if you put uh, one termit and to make something alone I don't I do not know how how uh, he make he make is it possible f for uh, one termitant to make to make uh, this type of of complex building and building okay so so there must be some type of intelligence uh, that is living in in all the ends and maybe uh, maybe they are uh, they have uh, some some uh, some sixth sixth or seventh sense uh, uh, that we uh, cannot uh, perceive in them and uh, they can build these complexes, uh, complexes because they use that uh, seventh or, or sixth sense I, I would say I just speculate but who knows who knows they are strange strange uh, beings okay uh, here uh, Scott put the uh, fascinating National Geographic article about about the ants. Okay, who is the termit architect? With what material mind does this artic architect think? Are his her neur neurons the individu in individual ant brains? If so, how would this architect physically commu communicate with millions of workers and constantly let them know what to do? Yes, uh, because of that, I said, because of that problem, I said that maybe they have uh, some sort of telepathic or some other uh, type of power, okay, some hidden type of power, okay. Logically, there cannot be any such material and mind. Explaining the ant conundrum leads us unavoidably to non-material non possibilities. Is there an ant super mind coordinating the uh, colony's activities over a long time across 
countless ant generations. Is there an ant mine controlling the entire species? If the mind isn't physical, then we uh, then we won't be able to weight and measure and make it falsifiable. Perhaps there are subtle electro electromagnetic traces we have yet to discover. Perhaps the ants communicate with a fungal mind. The Nat Geo article suggested as much. Collectively, the colony's fungus accounts for nearly 85% of the total metabolism inside the mound, and Turner speculates that the fungus may send chemical signals to the termites that influence, influence control the way they build the mound. I would like to tell people that this may not be a termite build structure, he says. It may actually be a fungus build structure. Okay, hmm. interesting theory. So the fungus is uh, commander commander of ants, is is chief and mother and mind of ants. Maybe that is a possibility. If so, fungus is a form of intelligent life. Terence McKenna certainly thought so. Okay. And here we have the picture of fungal mycelium on coffee grounds. Coffee grounds. This is one of the reasons I do not drink coffee. <laughs> I'm just joking. Fungal mycelium on coffee grounds. Hmm. Interesting. Next up to consider, is there a human supermind coordinating the actions of 10,000 scientists and engineers at CERN? Is that God? If so, that would certainly be ironic. Okay, interesting possibility. Uh, uh, so, so Scott made he here the, the correlation. S he compares the scientists with the ants and the god with the fungus. Fungus. Okay, okay. Next up to consider is the is there. Next up to consider is there a human supermind, coordinating the actions of ten thousand scientists. And engineers at CERN. Is that God? If so, that would certainly be ironic. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. I just I I, I read that uh, previously on the previous slide. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, however, uh, Scott here mentions the uh, human super mind. Okay. And 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 the super mind is 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 something that uh, that maybe is a possibility. And and actually, if if that is true, then we uh, cannot cannot uh, show that clearly, and we do not know anything about about that. But however, uh, the mind uh, uh, is is complex theme, and in philosophy, for example. We have the Hegel's philosophy where the mind is is using humans to implement and live through humans, through human uh, personalities. Okay, uh, as shown in this, this picture, this man here is God or mind, and he he put uh, itself uh, he put his essence in human beings okay uh, and and uh, human beings are living unaware that they they are godly they have the god presence uh, and they are actually a god itself okay so that possibility is 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 interesting however however i will i will continue with the article could the human supermind be the internet? <laughs> Remember, the internet uh, was invented at CERN. I see the internet as technological biomimicry of the human species supermind. Is internet the supermind? 
<laughs> this is map of the internet from 2015 you see how how it is complex and actually the internet is large is big How does Gaia consistence consistently maintain myriad conditions for life on the knife edge, including whatever we humans have done quite recently to throw that balance off? Gaia, Gaia or, or Earth uh, Earth is actually a Gaia here ok this photo is from SOMI Space Telescope uh, took this in 2012 ok so I do not believe in this picture, but however, it's in the it is interesting that that still the Earth is still in 2015. After all that, all that uh, ad advancement in technology, and after all that damage that uh, uh, humanity uh, done to planet Earth we still are living here and still earth is is living and is 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 live uh, and and uh, it is interesting that uh, human uh, human kind still in 2015 didn't damage the echo echo balance of of planet earth or or we 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 did some bad things but but we we didn't d destroy the the earth completely uh, for 2000 for to for 2015 uh, uh, years we still did did not did not destroy uh, destroyed the the planet earth okay that is just that was just my comment now uh, I think much good will come from recovering a sense of the life of the heavens. We are coming to see the Earth Gaia as alive, as life. I think we also have to take seriously the idea that the sun is alive and co conscious. If one wants to wants a scientific rash rationale for this, it comes ready to hand through the discoveries of modern solar physics. We now know that the sun has a complex system of magnetic fields reversing its polarity every 11 years associated with the sunspot cycle with this underlying uh, rhythm of magnetic polar reversals are a whole series of resonant and harmonic patterns of magnetic and electromagnetic change global patterns over the surface of the sun of a fractal nature <coughs> patterns within patterns highly turbulent chaotic sensitive varied and complex okay this is this is all true if astronomy and physics are actually telling the truth to us okay the problem here and and the critique here would be the 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 uh, the concave earth okay here i i, I attack the, this this whole claim by saying what about the concave earth okay so this is all in question questionable you can put here a question mark okay as electromagnetic patterns within our brain seems to be the interface between the mind and the nervous system here we have a parallel in the physical behavior of the sun it is perfectly possible that the sun has a mind which interfaces with the solar system itself as an uh, organism this is largely what astrology has concerned concern, uh, has concerned itself with
Okay, but however, uh, when you uh, when you see these the this claim by Rupert Rupert Sheldrake, and uh, and uh, you know when you know that that these these facts that that there is some uh, electromagnetic patterns in our brains and in in nature in sun, then then uh, you you should ask yourself why I should go at war why uh, why i uh, still am uh, willing to to rob a man to to ki kidnap something or do bad things okay so you c you see here that uh, all this if it if it is true uh, still uh, do not still can't can't uh, help uh, uh, to uh, t say still can't help humanity to be better and to behave better uh, because because it seems that uh, human nature uh, uh, is still is is really complex and i think it is uh, it is uh, astrology of course influences the the human behavior and uh, uh Astrology will always, uh, or, or astrological transits, will, al will always put a problem in front of a person, okay? Even person who, who wish the best for the earth, astrology will, will put uh, uh, him uh, uh, some type of event when where he, he will be uh, astrologically forced uh, to do some bad things, okay? I think that uh, free will is 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 not so so strong in human being i think that uh, stars are, are mostly mostly influence the the behavior of human being so uh, even if you know uh, something like like lupus shadrick even, even if you want all the best to planet earth astrology will eventually uh, and astrological transits will eventually find a way to to damage the earth for example ju that that is just example uh, what i want to what i wanted to tell you okay this was my uh, little digression my little little thought process uh, process okay so uh, now i will continue with the article is there a solar uh, supermind coordinating the sizes and orbits of its planets to maximize harmony okay it seems that we have some type of uh, harmony in solar system some type of life it seems that sun is is uh, if sun is conscious in if planets are conscious beings then it, it is really interesting And it is it is interesting uh, if 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 it is true that sun is super mind, and the sun is coordinating the sizes and orbits of its planets. Okay, uh, uh, and uh, this is important if there is a super mind. For example, if it is sun or some 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 other super mind, it it wants to have harmony harmony among uh, everything that uh, he controls okay supermind controls uh, something some beings and he he always wants to make a harmony and i would say why there must why that supermind wants to create a harmony uh, uh, why why there is there he wants to he wants to uh, make a, a life of that beings to be in harmony <coughs> or, or for example why he w if, if it is not har harmony why he ma uh, he want to put uh, the life of dead beings or dead planets for example to be in disharmony or in harmony why there is that 
that is need uh, why the, why there is that need for the super mind to have a control over the over the sun beings for example planets for example people for example plants why uh, why d why d there is that ten tendency to to make a harmony or for example disharmony why there is that uh, tendency to live simply uh, to to be alive what is that intention if the supermind is is among planets among people among ants why why he he wants to uh, make a harmony a harmony uh, or why why he wants to make a, a sus sustainable i would say living simply uh, life simply life okay that 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 can be one question made by me okay now i will continue with the article the neuronal structures within our brains unplanned roads and the large scale structure of the universe simulated on the max planck supercomputer all exhibit the same specific branching filamentous pattern come to think of it so too do fungal maths and maps of the entire internet what these disparate phenomena have in common is that they are all information processing networks okay so i would ask why there 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 must be uh, uh, information uh, that must be processed why uh, why the why there is no information that that I that is pros processed processed okay why there is okay these are the living neurons why they actually need to be live why uh, while life 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 exists i, I would ask all, all I, what I ask are the philosophical questions. Okay, of course, philosophical questions. Uh, roads, universe, neurons, <laughs> or all is information processing networks. Okay, is there a universal supermind processing all of its information, holographically passing data to smaller network processing structures, all the way down? I would ask why there, if if it is true, why there must be a supermind, uh, supermind that that processing that that process processes the information. Why he exists, uh, that supermind? Why he exists? Why? Why? That would be another philosophical, philosophical question. Is your brain really the place where consciousness happens? Or do we have it all backwards? What if your brain is just a dumb physical receiving set that tunes into a channel of the human supermind? Like the way a radio tunes into the music or like the individual term it seems to do. Is there a hierarchy of minds and superminds all the way up? Okay, if the if the if there is a hierarchy of superminds, I would ask why there must be a hierarchy of minds. Another question. <coughs> if you then uh, the awareness, if so, if so, then the awareness running through all possible minds, gross and subtle, is the same awareness coordinating your human life. It is who you are. You are not only your limited human body, nor your local human mind. You are vast. Okay, here we see the again the pan pantheistic nature of uh, Scott Ernst's research, and I respect that. Okay, because now in 21st century uh, there is there are many many evidence that that we live in a vast pantheistic 
pantheistic uh, universe or, or, or place or reality okay you are the architect the paterner paterner you are the conspiracy that is the that is the uh, deeper lesson of CERN okay you are the architect you are vast you are vast vast you are vast vast you are vast and it seems that really you are vast that we all are vast and connected with one another okay that that is actually the the point here uh, and the 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 the, the, the uh, the main main uh, focus of Scott Constant's uh, findi findings. Okay. 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 Now s uh, let's see the comments. Mister Izvakor <laughs> said, "I really think there is a super being. Call it anything, not God." that fix this whole thing or we are just his toy and again earth is old okay yes it seems that someone created the reality we live in and now we are just living living it uh, uh I do not know, but but it is interesting. Again, uh, dirt is old, and uh, it it seems really really strange that that all all the from beginning of the earth, from beginning of this reality, reality till uh, this day of Octo uh, this one day from October two thousand and fifteen. Earth still exists, and uh, it is really strange that uh, astrology uh, works uh, now. So, th so I would would ask: Is was astrology before also uh, worked? Uh, uh, and I, I would uh, I would ask uh, one big hard question: What about uh, theory of evolution and astrology? Okay. If evolution is 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 incorrect then astrology wins if ev evolution theory of evolution is is correct then what should we do about astrology and now we see that astrology is correct okay but but question remains about and problem remains the problem uh, 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 of of theory of evolution okay now let's continue with the next comment uh, then uh, said this seems to be this seems to tie in with the ancient Gnostic teachings as relayed by John Lamb Lash in his book not in his image the idea of a synthetic solar system but an organic living earth uh -huh, okay okay only it is also possi possible but first I would ask, what about the concave Earth? Okay. Sasha said, I think you are really on to something big there. I always wondered if someone is coordinating identities, identities on Earth, like stereotypes and stuff. You can't deny that there are stereotypes. I met people in different places who were behaving exactly the same, in style of cloth, but also in the very core of their persona. You just have to go to different high schools to see what I mean just like bees and ants have uh, their uh, different styles of workers who are built to do their present uh, job uh, do their to do their pre preset preset jobs I also think that uh, I uh, here here uh, I'm sorry I, I I am looking at at this this first first passes here. Yes, 
it seems that there, there are different groups of people, different stereotypes, but uh, uh, that is that is normal. I like I I think that that the term stereotype can be described uh, using astrological terms, but I will not speak about that. Uh, okay. Uh, I also think that Gaia can actually see what kind of worker is needed for a good balance on Earth each moment, or if male or female is needed. I don't know, I don't know. In the end, we might not just be as great beings as we think. We just haven't realized that we are drones fulfilling Earth's will. We can we confuse our mind for something unique, but it might as well be just a receiver for the upper will. Our thoughts really are our own product. Through things that take place in the mind, we are completely remote controllable. Who tells us to have fear of something or to fall in love with someone? Here I can answer you, dear Sasha. Astrology tell, uh, tells us astrological transit for fear give us fear or for falling in love give us falling in love. Okay. Also the aspects we have is in natal char chart uh, determine uh, in which way and how we will we will uh, have fear. Okay, but uh, okay, but uh, that is not also. Uh, I, I, I say you this uh, simple in simple way, uh, but you need to study astrology and and to reel from your own experience to understand what I just just uh, uh, told you. Okay, okay. It is not that simple, but astrology still works. Even it is not uh, uh, easy to under understand it. Okay. Why do we like our hobbies or that special song? For example, I like that song because I have Venus in Pisces. Okay, that can be astrological one of the astrological uh, explanations why you like that song called uh, Song A, for example. Okay, okay, okay. I hope that that this helped. Okay, we never question this because it brings us uh, uh, a good feeling. Scientifically, these feelings come through hormones. But through hormones, we are controllable. If the over mind has some sort of link to the human brain, I, w I think it uh, would be hormones. Okay. Karen said, I agree with your comment. I have noticed similar stereotypes characteristics in people as well and bothered similarly if this was not a coincidence or flaw in my thinking. Definitely a higher power, whether a one conscious of itself or not, is the question. Has there been an evolution, not in the Darwinian sense, but a natural progression progression as a known a thing through the eons that has led to a universal sentient being that is simply repeating itself throughout infinity infinity for the being now and we are just now becoming aware because it once needs us to be aware as helpers ends okay this claim here about the becoming aware is actually a philosophy uh, made by German philosopher uh, 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 Georg uh, Wilhelm Hegel. Hegel, okay, it is actually that. Of its uh, of its now infinitive expansion, as our technology seems to be doing, come, let us make man er in our er image. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this is this is Hegelian comment, I would say. Okay, I don't know why why the why the 
why this this quote here it seems that according to this comment we are the ends of god of the of the of the creator okay okay next comment bess i suggest that you read the secret doctrine by blavatsky I suggest that you and everyone else here read the Bible and discover the not so secret doctrine of, of salvation, which will do you a world of good after you depart planet Earth permanently. <laughs> someone, someone is yelling at, at Mr. Bass. Okay. Okay. So let's continue with the next co comment, Mr. Sherman. No. It can be God because that would mean the Bible is correct, and if the Bible if the Bible is correct, then lack of redemption would mean an afterlife of hell. Time to wake up, people. <laughs> okay, that was the Mr. Sherman's comment. Okay. He, uh, uh, Mr. Sherman, accepts Bible literal, literal, literally. Okay. And okay, but the Bible is a special thing and, and cannot be in our research uh, understand, uh, understood uh, in, in, in literal uh, sense. Okay. Because when we research Bible, we actually do not know uh, everything about, about the Bible. Okay. We, we but about the Bible and, and some other co correlations with the Bible, I will speak in, in maybe in some other video. Okay. Now let's continue with the comments. Rick said, for me, this is all bringing to mind the Lord's Prayer, not my will, but thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, heaven and earth all are important terms terms in our research. Okay. Okay, and maybe I will speak about in detail about heaven and, and the earth. But yes, we have we have the correlation the 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 dimensions, dimensions of Earth and Moon are, are co correlated with the dimensions of planets. Okay, okay, that is that is interesting. That is interesting. But uh, also we have other other cor correlation. For example, uh, geometria, geometria, geometria uh, uh, between Earth term Earth and the, the term heaven. Have have uh, geometria connection. Okay, and I will speak about that later. God sends and you all can be the ants and bees and bugs, blindly obeying the supermind and trotting out your lives like a fungus on Gaia. And I will just be a man made in the image of God, trotting out my life according to his will here on planet Earth. God's second greatest gift to mankind after Jesus the Christ, his son. My thoughts are higher than your, th than your thoughts. And no amount of deep thinking or certain experimentation will get them any higher. Hormone highs are unlikely to produce spiritual awareness either, but aliens are very fond of them. You folks are a hair's bread away from insanity, especially the lunatic author, <laughs> author of the art of the article. Okay, God sense says, okay, I do not understand why. What is he talking about here? No, 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 no. I do not understand what is he speaking about, but uh, it. <laughs> I will not analyze that. I will. I will. I will go to to Scott's comment. 
Thanks for reading and commenting on this crazy blog. <laughs> God says, no problem. I was reading Goro Adachi's credible endgame articles 1 and 2 about the 3,600-year-old uh, 3, Himmel Scheibe and related discs, lending ammo to Bob Fletcher's anticipation of Nibiru's visible return, starting in December 2015 or 16. And then click the link to your Twilight Zone. <laughs> Twilight Zone site. <laughs> For your information, the Superman behind Sir and the LHC blogs Lucifer. All the Zionist slime balls crawling all over CERN and the LRC like mountain control ends are agents of the ancient alien race of Satan. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. They live and look just like us but are not. Interesting comment. The supermind behind CERN is Lucifer. Interesting, okay. And Lucifer here is important. Dear listener, later I will, sc I will speak about the Lucifer and the newest research made by made about the, the Lucifer. Okay. That subject is really interesting and later I will make a video where where I will speak only about the Lucifer. Okay, now let's continue with this article. Certainly the thoughts of the Creator are higher than the creation. And you appear to be a student of the Bible and are apparently baptized and saved according to your religious beliefs. But why such anger and rancor at fellow? God created human beings intelligently discussing the world, the creation of the Creator. I am pleased to find this blog and enjoy learning about the absolute perfection of creation and in a sense learning more about what the Creator has done. If it were even slightly possible to understand creation from some very intelligent information like this from this brilliant album, I would be very happy. Humans are curious about our origin and where we are headed. There is smart thinking here. Did not God's only begotten Son who came to the earth to redeem mankind from the sin of disobedience to the Creator live with uh, 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 His disciples the two commandments to first love your Father in heaven and then also love one another on earth? So show some love. Did not God also state that He would repair the original sin that caused the death of men and fall from perpetual forgiveness this only begotten Son as a ransom sacrifice? So that and live on a perfect earth, not in heaven. I appreciate your passionate concern, but God's got the wheel. You can relax and enjoy the ride. Interesting uh, a comment by Karen. I would say, uh, 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 while reading this, this comment, I have I have a feeling that that some woman is speaking uh, is made a comment about this, because. Uh, Comments made by females are sensible, um, have some some uh, beauty in them, but comments made by uh, by male male people are are short, uh, hard, uh, or I mean strong, uh, offensive, uh, interesting, very very interesting. But but uh, uh, comments ma made by by female uh, 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 internet users I noticed uh, are tending to to have some some peace in them to share some peace and their message is always let us have peace let 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 do not make war war and male comments I noticed always want to make some type of struggle okay and here is the example karen made a, a beautiful peace wanting comment okay now let's let's continue scott ans answers no re no disrespect for your belief system but i do not share it commandments obedience anger sin and judgment are the language of fear i do not fear god or see it necessary to personify the absolute Imagined creator and imagined creation are one and the same. Okay, so here we see again the pantheistic nature of Scott Anto Onstott's research. And I respect that. Okay. Okay. 
God sent. What anger and rancor? I pity gods of the ludic. Uh, I pity gods of the ludic creatures and their fantasies of being God. We are not meant to relax and enjoy it right. The earthly path to God is narrow and difficult, and there are few who find it. There are even fewer who choose to travel on it after they find it. For the gospel is uh, is foolishness to those who are perishing. What goes on here is mostly the creature exalting himself above the creator, like Lucifer, the bearer of false light. We will not learn anything of value here about the Creator. The right source is the Word of God, Holy Scripture. Karen said, "You wrote, is there? You wrote, okay. I will not read that. I suppose it's like tapping into the universe of all lies, or more serious, uh, seriously, the beginning of understanding the language of cre creation, which could be quite independent from the Creator Himself. I've always thought that there would have to be an intercessor for a Creator or Supermind to communicate to communicate with creation." or a conduit to, uh, to sort of step down the immense method of our comparable but lesser minds. Also, what do you think of Plato's theory of forms? Are we simply progressing and asking for the right things and the realm uh, of forms is providing the, the answers? And Scott answers, traditionally the Pope is the intercessor, but that doesn't work for me. Consider the possibility that no intercessor is necessary because you are a God imagining yourself experience the experiencing the incredible limitations of a specific mind and body. Here uh, I would comment, okay, this actually statement made, this statement made by Scott Todstad is the statement of uh, philosopher Hegel. Okay, let's continue. Body and world. Now wake up and ask a question. Who provides the answer? All learning is remembering. So, Plato. Okay, so Plato, uh, Pla Plato and Hegel, Hegel, Pla Pla Plato and Hegel, Plato and Hegel. Hegel, 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 okay, Hegel, are important philosophers here. Uh, so, so s if you know them, you will you will easily understand what Scott uh, uh, research is about. Uh, okay, okay, what what uh, are the main main points, main theories theories behind all the uh, data, all the precious precious data. That that Scott Onstead, Scott Onstead found. Okay. And and that is uh, <coughs> and that is everything uh, uh, that I wanted to talk you talk you talk about. Uh, that is it. That's it. Thank you for uh, watching uh, this video. Thank you for listening to me. I hope I was interesting enough. Thank you for for considering this material. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's see you. Uh, maybe I will see you. Uh, maybe I, uh, maybe you will watch me in my next uh, video. Uh, thank you for watching. That would be all. Have a nice day. Uh, have a have a nice day. Goodbye. Bye bye.